guys, happy Thursday. Welcome back to another one of my live makeup tutorials. I'm here tonight with cute Beatrice, and we are so excited. I asked you guys last time what looks you wanted me to film next, and a lot of you guys said you wanted some holiday looks. So when I think of a holiday look, I think of two things. I either think of glitter or I think of red lips. So for tonight, I'm gonna show you my top five tips to getting the perfect red lip because it's something that a lot of people are kind of scared to do or they can't, they think red doesn't look good on them, but it does. You just need to choose the right ones. I'm gonna teach you my five tips. So my first one is to choose the right color scheme overall in your makeup and your eyeshadow and your blush to go with the lips. So I'm gonna show you guys some color science before we start. So I'm gonna show you the color rule really quick. So my first tip before I show you is to use an analogous color scheme. So what that means, like if you look on the color wheel, I'm gonna hold it by your face <laughs> so you guys can see. <laughs> if you look at red, an analogous color would be something that's right by it. So orange or purple. So that's why when you see red lips, a lot of people will pair golds with them because that's basically like an orange undertone. Or what something I really like to do is incorporate purples and plums too. It looks really pretty with a red lip. It's different and it pops. So we're actually going to do that tonight because I have been doing a lot of gold on my channel. So I'm going to show you kind of burgundies on the eyes and then we will do a red lip. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've already done some of her makeup. I applied foundation, but not under eye concealer. I did her brows. I did a highlight under her brow. And because she is more fair and kind of has an olive undertone, I'm going to use um, a purple on her eye, but I didn't want it to look ashy. You really have to be careful if you start to go, like, I'm going to use a warm purple, like a purple with a red base, but when you start to go into those bluey colors, the cool tones, you really want to make sure it's not ashy. So I started by adding this really, really light kind of peach color just to her transition area, just to warm things up. And then we're going to go in with this color by MAC. It's like a warm sort of a violet, so it has red in it. Go ahead and close. We're gonna do that in her crease. We're gonna buff this out. So why I do this, I will tell you guys my second tip. So my second tip for red lips is to balance the eye makeup with the lip. So if you've heard like when people talk about makeup and stuff like that, they always say like pick a feature and have that be bold. Like either do smoky eyes and a nude lip or do a bright bold lip and then like nothing on the eye. But I have found like red lips are obviously bold, but I have found that you still need like, you still need to accentuate the eyes. You just want it to be in balance. Like if you're doing a bright red lip, you probably don't want to do like a dark black smoky eye unless you're really going for like, a super bold night outlook. So I'm just gonna show you how to define the eye, but keeping it balanced, like still letting the lips like be the main focus. Okay, so now that that is on, I'm gonna do a light shimmer on her lid. We're gonna do, this is from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. It's kind of like a pinky, a pinky champagne color. So we're gonna do this on her lid just to give it some pop. Then I'm gonna define her crease a little bit. So for those of you that are watching live, I wanna know your thoughts on red lipstick. Do you wear it all the time? Are you scared of it? Do you have like a shade you love? Let me know what you think. Do you wear it ever, Beatrice? You a red lip girl? I wish. Yeah? <laughs> I wish I did. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't go with me sometimes. Yeah, and that's the key. That's what a lot of people say. They're like, oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Because when you see somebody with a red lip and it's like so pretty, it's like, oh my gosh, I want to yeah. go home and put red lipstick on. But it's all about finding the right undertone. So I'm definitely going to show you that when we get to the lips. Okay, so I'm just buffing this out. And then I do want to add a little bit of drama to her crease. So I'm going to go in with this deep burgundy color. I'm 
just buff that out in the corner just to give it a little dimension. And that's pulling a little too cool, so I'm going to go in with more of like a red brown. Let's find one. Do you wear much eyeshadow usually? Yes, I do. You do? You're mm -hmm. an eyeshadow girl. What do you like to wear? Um, I like smoky eyes, but then my usual is like brown and then like shimmer on it. I love glitter. Ooh, oh my gosh, me too. You can never go wrong with glitter. You can never go wrong with glitter. What glitters do you like? Like what um, brand? I don't know. I just gave it for my sister. <laughs> She's your makeup guru. She is. Have you ever used the Stila ones that come in that little like stick? And you draw on. Oh yes, I have. Those are so. Those are like my favorite glitter because they're not messy, but they're like super glittery. Yeah. So when you said awesome. glitter, I was like, oh my gosh, yay! Yeah. <laughs> we actually won't do glitter on you tonight, but oh. if you ever want to come back, we can totally do glitter. Okay. Okay, I am gonna clean up under her eyes. Look up for me. So I already did her foundation, but I haven't done her under eye concealer. So something I like to do to define the eyes is just clean up like with a makeup wipe or my micellar water after just to shape the eyes and I already put a little bit of water or eyeliner in her waterline I'm gonna add a little bit more been seeing this look done a ton. I think it's because it's we're transitioning into fall and the holidays, but like kind of a burgundy purple eye and red lips, and it seriously is so pretty. Like if you know the tone of red to do, it's gorgeous. So I'm doing some liner. I'm going to put some lashes on her so I want a nice base. Since this is kind of like a holiday red look, I am, I'm adding liner, I'm adding some drama to her eyes, I'm keeping it pretty soft, like I'm definitely not going really smoky, but you can go really light on the eyes. Like if you, I really love like a super bold red lip and a really light eye, but like I said, you still need definition. So let's say you don't do shadow, like you're doing your bold red lip and you want that to be your focus, you want kind of a minimal like day look. Still curl, curl your lashes, throw on lashes, a pair of lashes if you want to, and then define your brows. So still do something so that your eyes don't just look washed out compared to the red lip, but you don't have to do eyeshadow. And then I'm going to put some bronzer on her too. I almost always like a, a little bit of bronzer with my red lip. Gwen Stefani does that. I love her makeup. I don't know if that's still her thing, but she used to rock like a total red lip. And then like, she would do a lot of liner, but she would kind of do like no eyeshadow. Oh, really? Look over this way for me, yeah. Did you ever watch her on The Voice? Gwen Stefani. Yeah. I think so. She's cute. Go ahead and look this way. Taylor Swift does a really pretty red lip. Oh, she does. Yeah, hers is so cute. It makes me want to try it sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> she's so cute. And she does kind of a cat eye. Like a, a really thick line of liner is so pretty with the red lips. Yes. Like that cat eye, she does that. It looks super good with it. Yeah. I have, I'll show you guys, I have the lipstick color she wore. Like when she was, one of her albums, she just wore red lips all the time. Like when she was promoting it. And I'm like, what color is that? And I totally found out what it was. It's so cute. Okay, look forward for me. I'm gonna go ahead and curl her lashes and put her lashes on now, and then we'll finish the rest of the face, and then I'll show you guys the lips. Go ahead, have you ever had your eyelash curled before? Yes. Okay, okay, look forward for me. Does that pinch at all? No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze. You have amazing lashes, oh my gosh. Thank you. They're like so <laughs> long. 
They're black. We're lucky. <laughs> Mine are pretty long, but they're like, they're pretty blonde. Oh. <laughs> so I definitely need mascara or something. Okay, these are my lashes in a box. I used these before and I got a lot of comments on it. These are the E ones. So I've already trimmed them to fit her eyes and I'm just gonna pop them on really quick. ever done a look on my channel with no lashes. I just love them. You can never go wrong with them. <laughs> you can never go wrong with lashes. It's so true. Oh, well, that was glued shut. And use my clear. Do you wear fake lashes? I did once. I did for prom. Oh, so cute. When I took them off, it was the best feeling in the world. <laughs> When you pulled them off? Yeah. Because you I, liked the way it felt or because yeah. they were uncomfortable when you were wearing them? No, I liked them. I actually felt really comfortable with them. Huh. Yeah, they're not that bad. If they're put on, right? They're they probably not, were because your yeah. sister probably put them on. Yeah. Right? yeah, they're awesome. I felt so cool. Aw. Go ahead and look down. What'd you wear to prom? Um, like my dress? Mm-hmm. I wore a black dress and it had some like gold stones on them. Ooh, that's gorgeous. So did you do like gold glittery eye Actually, makeup? I don't even remember how my makeup was. They did it super fast. You went and got it done? No, my sister did it. Oh, but she was beauty. Yeah, she's my beauty guru. Oh, so cute. Shout out to Beatrice's sister <laughs> for being awesome. I bet she loves doing your makeup. You're probably just like her little Barbie doll. <laughs> That's so fun. I would always do my little sister's makeup. Yeah. Did you like doing her makeup? Yeah. She's so cute. And she's such a tomboy. Like, we're so opposite. Like, I'm super girly, and she's like, oh, really? she's into working out. She's like a little athlete. She's on, like, a running scholarship. She likes makeup, though. She's super good at doing it. Like, really? she can do people's makeup so good, but she, like, never wears it. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. Because I've had her assist me, like, on weddings and stuff like that. Like, I would teach her. I'm like, okay, these are the things I want you to do. And then, like, I'll finish. Look down. And she's crazy good because she's such a perfectionist. Oh. I understand her on the perfectionist part. Yeah, are you too? Yes. <laughs> so you're probably good at makeup too. Sometimes, occasionally. Okay, so this is like a medium dense lash. It's like a couple steps above natural, but it's nothing really, really thick. The lashes are pretty with red lip. If you go with the cat eye, if you do like a really thick twing liner, the really thick lashes are pretty too. Forward. Good. Add some mascara. So we're going to talk about undertones of red lipstick when we get to the lips, but I'll explain a little bit to you guys now. I'm sure you have heard, but kind of the main undertones in a red lipstick, we have like our primary red, like a pure red, and then either they have a blue base or they have an orange base. They either pull cool or they pull warm. And that is where you can really, really get like a super flattering red if you pick the right undertone. And that's also where like you can put on a red, like let's say you're a warm tone and you need an orange based red but you've only tried like a cool and it just didn't look good like you just need a swing the other way and it's just trial and error so what I'll do when I do her lips I might actually swatch a couple on her and just show you like each one and then show you which one I think would be the most flattering on her so you can have the visual look up for me Let's 
to. <laughs> so look up for me. So if you guys are going to like a holiday party or something, you definitely want to define your eyes a little bit. And a trick I like to do, like if I'm keeping the eyes soft, but I still want to define them, I'll do like a really thin line of liner underneath. And that just really helps your eye shape stand out. But it keeps everything soft. Look up for me. And this is just a really thick, flat, synthetic brush. Okay, look at me. Good. Okay, I think we have a question. Hi guys. Okay, Millie. Hi Millie says, I love red. However, at 56 and with some lines around my lips, I don't know if red would even look good on me anymore. Okay, that's a really good question. Maybe my husband is home back. Okay, or a good statement. A lot of people have that problem. If you have lines around your lip, a lot of people have the problem that their lipstick will migrate. And if you're wearing a really bright color like red and it starts to kind of travel into your lines throughout the day, um, it's definitely not ideal. But if you use a super awesome lip liner, and it doesn't even have to be red, like if you have a really good long wear, kind of more of a dry based lip liner and a nude or something, and you put that on before you're red, it will totally help with that and it will not travel into the lines. Sometimes as we age, um, our lips will get a little bit thinner and you can still where I don't know if you have this problem or not, but you can still look up for me. Wear red lips stick with thinner lips. You just don't want to go dark. You want to keep. You want to put gloss on it, and you want to stay lighter. So those are my tips for more mature skin and lines around the mouth. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shadow under her eyes, and then we'll put on her under eye concealer. Look up for me. I'm just going to do some light concealer. Look up. Okay. Just under that eye area to bring it up. And Beatrice has awesome skin, so I really just did a <laughs> super thin layer of, on her I used Makeup Forever foundation because it's pretty pretty sheer if you just do a light layer but you still with the red lips you still want to have like really even skin tone like you definitely in my opinion want to wear foundation or something concealer because the red lipstick it kind of tends to bring out our flaws like most women they'll have cut veins around their nose we'll have a little bit of darkness under the eyes or if we have blemishes or anything like that they're usually a red based or under our eyes will maybe be purple. So if you put on a red lipstick and no foundation, like no concealer, the red is just going to accentuate like all those imperfections or flaws or whatever. So you definitely want to conceal that. You didn't have any of those things, <laughs> <laughs> but... Your beauty blender smells so good. Oh, it smells that's so my pretty. cleaner, I think. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, it smells like pretty pebbles. Have you ever, I love pretty pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. Have you ever used the beauty blender cleaner that's like no. made for it? It's seriously so good. Really? Because I hated cleaning them. Like I felt like, like the yeah. makeup wouldn't come out of them. And I'm like, they need to be really clean. I tried all these different makeup things. Uh -huh. I don't know why I didn't buy like the beauty blender brand cleaner, but it's so good. And it oh, smells wow. good. It smells nice. Okay. So I am going to add, now that that's on, I don't want her to look washed out, so I'm going to add a little bronzer. So this one's the Hoola bronzer. This one, it's just a regular Hoola bronzer, but this one's good for like light to medium skin tones because it has warmth in it, but it's not super orange. Just going to warm her up a little bit. I'm 
going to contour her nose just a little bit. When you contour with a bronzer, you want to go in so light because they're more warm. Usually I like more of a cool tone for like a nose contour, but if you're in a hurry, you can use your bronzer. This is my favorite brush for that. It's like made for nose contouring. It's awesome. Okay, so now that that is on, I'm going to show you my favorite blush. So if you're going for like a really berry toned red lip, you can actually take the red lipstick because it's a cream and add a little bit on the cheeks and spread it around. But usually I don't like a red or pink toned blush. I feel like it looks very Barbie, which is cute if you're going for that look. But usually for a more like mature, natural sort of a red look, I really love this blush by MAC. It's called Warm Soul. It's super pretty. It just, it has some gold undertones in it. It's more of like a neutral. It just gives you like some warmth to your face, but it pulls, like once the red lipstick is on, it pulls really well with this blush. Turn this way towards me good. Those lashes are pretty on you. Thank you. And you can reuse them a couple times, so when you pull these off tonight, you can wear them. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of the best fingers in the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I hate it, actually. Really? Yeah, because I'm always scared I'm going to pull, like, my own lash out. Oh, okay. And stuff like that. <laughs> but I'm glad this, you like this it. This is satisfying. <laughs> I like pulling the glue off of them. Like, if I rewear them, I'll pull, like, the extra glue off uh -huh. of them, and that is satisfying. <laughs> Maybe I kind of know what you feel. A highlighter. Oh. This is like a, a really pale gold. So this look is perfect for day because it's not too dramatic. But because we did lashes and we did some liner, it is great if you guys have holiday parties coming up and you want to do a red lip, this is really pretty. And like I said, you can do it with a, uh, like a burgundy purpley eye like this, you can do gold. Okay. My third tip, now that we're done with the rest of the makeup, we'll move on to lips. My third tip is to exfoliate the lips. Hers are actually good, but a lot of us have really dry lips and when you wear a bold color especially reds like it shows everything if you have dry skin or flaky skin it's really going to grip onto that and you want the red lips to look really flawless really full and so we want to smooth out our lips first you make look big. yeah i feel like the red lips make it look really full especially if you add a glass perfect <laughs> I like I have small lips. <laughs> no you totally don't <laughs> You have fabulous lips, Beatrice. You have fabulous everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have I don't have my exfoliant. Usually this is my little like prep bag. I have like my razors, my tweezers, and I pulled my exfoliant out. I don't know why. But I really love the lush ones. The lush have like a sugar base scrub. So what I'll usually do on my clients and what you can do when you're doing your makeup. It's usually actually at the beginning. I'll put the sugar scrub on my lips, I'll rub it on or their lips, I'll wipe it off and I'll moisturize them, which I will show you guys. And then that way once we get to the lips, the moisture has really sunk in, the lips are really smooth and really hydrated. So I exfoliate with that. And I like that one because the exfoliant is a sugar. And so if a little bit gets in their mouth or something, like it tastes good, it doesn't taste chemically and it's natural, so it's fine. Like they could eat it if they wanted to. <laughs> but usually I wipe it off for them. And then this is my absolute favorite moisturizer. This is a nipple balm. <laughs> it's my Dr. Lip. It is amazing. So I'm gonna put this on and have you rub it in. Okay, go ahead and rub for me. And usually I'll just put like a little bit like I did for her and I will just leave it, but because we're going right into the lips right now, I'll probably 
wipe a little bit off. So that's the nipple balm is pure lanolin. So it's super hydrating. It locks in moisture. I hate chapstick. I feel like it's like an anti-hydrator. I don't know what it is. Whenever I put some on and it wears off, I'm like, oh my gosh, my lips are so dry, like so much drier than they were before. But the lanolin, you can use Vaseline, stuff like that just locks in the moisture that you already have. And when it wears away, you don't feel like, oh my gosh, I have to put some more on right away. So don't use chapstick. I use stuff like that. Okay. So that's my third tip. Exfoliate those lips and then hydrate. It will make a world of difference. <laughs> okay. Next, my fourth tip is to choose the right undertones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visually show you guys some undertones. Right now I pulled a bunch of my lipsticks. So I'm going to start. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like her lip palette. So what she has, I'm going to hold it right in front of your face. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Actually, I'll open it up so it doesn't reflect on the camera. Is that focusing? Perfect. Okay. So what she has is a lot of different colors, and then she has her primary colors to mix it. So this is like a pure primary red. And if you have this palette, you can add to it. So you can take this red base. You can add the yellow if you want it to be more orangey, more warm, or you can add the blue if you want it to be blue. And then the white is to make it lighter. The black is obviously to make it darker if you want like a really vampy lip. So this is a true red. So I'm going to show you guys this on my hand. Okay, and this is like, it's a medium tone. So this I would say on a person is probably darker. So there's that. And then... This one's a pretty true red too. This is Creeper by ColourPop. This is a liquid lip. This one's just a little bit lighter, if you can say that. So I would say these two are pretty true reds. So a ch this is considered neutral, so this would probably look good on everybody, but it's not necessarily like the most flattering. That's why I think it's really fun to play with different undertones because like even though something will look nice, like you want it to be extra. You want it to pop and look amazing. That's the point of makeup. So that's where undertones get really fun. So let me show you. Let's go to the orange tones. I thought of. Okay. And this is my favorite orange tone red. This is called Heat Wave. This is by NARS and it is so pretty. So you can see next to those that has, it almost looks like a coral. Like when you put colors next to each other, that doesn't even look red anymore. But this is an orange base. And then this one's called Fire and Ice. I think this is Maybelline. And guys, this is the Taylor Swift color that she wears. It's really pretty. And this is more cool. It has like pink in it. I like it's more of a blue based. It's a pretty true, like I would say it's still kind of more of a neutral red, but it definitely like leans more cool a little bit and it's brighter. This is like that, um, like that 40s, 50s, like bright red kind of blue, blue based lip was this one. Okay, two more. This one, this one's called, I love this. This one's by ColourPop and this one's definitely cool. Like it almost looks pink compared to the others. And then this one is Sephora brand. This is like a brick. It's like a plummy brick. So for Beatrice, she has kind of olive-y undertones. So I would say a cool on her, it would be pretty, but it wouldn't really add a ton of pop it really wouldn't do anything to like pull the beautiful colors from her undertones so I would say on her I would probably do heat wave I would like that really an orangey undertone I wouldn't do a brick on her I don't think like this neutral red almost looks like a brick red compared to her skin and it probably same thing wouldn't really do much for her um, if she was really really fair and very like pink undertone like cool undertones I would like the more blue base, but I'm gonna show you the heat wave. Actually, first I'll show you like a neutral red on her and then I'll show you the heat wave, but let me wipe this off because it will get it everywhere. <laughs> so 
of you, like, the best thing to do, honestly, like, you can Google, you can look up, like, am I cool tone or warm tone? And there's different ways of telling. If you tend to gravitate towards silver jewelry, you're probably a cool tone. If you wear gold, you're probably warm. Same with, like, if you wear white t-shirts, like, if you like white versus cream, you're cool tone. If you like creams, you're warm tone. Um, you can look at your veins. If your veins look more blue when you hold them up, you're a cool tone. If they look more green, you are warm. But I honestly, everyone's different. Like I have very pink undertones, so I'm technically like a cool tone, but I look better in the orange tone red. So you just have to play with it. So we're gonna put I'm gonna put this true red on her just to show you guys, and then I'm gonna pop on heat waves. So I'm just gonna put this on kind of so you can see, but not perfectly, and then we'll switch. So this one is the neutral red. It's a little bit deeper, so this is gonna look good on her, but it's not gonna be like her ideal color. So your homework, you guys that are watching, is to go raid your makeup kit if you have red lipstick, pull it out and try to determine the undertones, and then put it on and see, like, do you love it? If you love it, like, figure out the undertone and be like, okay, cool, I look awesome in warm undertones or cool undertones. If you don't love it, go to the store and look for something with the opposite tone. I'm not going to get this perfect. I just want you guys to see really quick and then I'm going to put the other one on. Go ahead and rub just a little bit for me. So that's the true red and that's gorgeous. That's super pretty but I'm going to show you the orange based next. And I'll show you the difference. Okay, when you're taking off red lipstick and you already have makeup on, you have to be so careful. So while I take it off, I'm going to tell you guys my final tip of the night. So when you do red lipstick, like red is bold, it's dramatic, like that's the first thing people look at. When they look at you and you're wearing red lipstick, like they're going to look at your lips. So you want that lipstick to be perfect. You don't want it to be like uneven. You don't want the edges to be faded. Um, you want it to be super perfect. So what I always tell people with red lips is don't put it on straight out of the tube. Use a lip brush and also use a liner. Drinking her help, lips helped too because they were chapped. They'd be extra chapped if you're like <laughs> pulling stuff up. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my beauty blender with her foundation color and go around it. You can skip, if you use a lip brush and a lipstick, you can skip the liner, but it's just not gonna wear very well. Like it'll kind of rub away. So a liner just locks it into place. So we're just gonna do. This is Subculture by MAC, so this is a nude. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna perfect that outer shape of her lips and just lock in the red color. So I'm just gonna outline her lips, fill them in a little bit. She has a great defined lip line, but some of us, um, like your lips almost blend into the rest of your skin tone and some people kind of don't have a defined lip. So doing the liner first is super helpful because you can create a lip and draw a little bit outside the lines if you want to. Okay. And then another thing I like to do is go in with my foundation color. And you can do this before and you can do a little bit after. I'll probably do some after I put the lipstick on. Just take a little bit of your concealer or your foundation and just outline the lips. And this makes them look super, super perfect. 
This is super good to do after too. But if you're new to shaping the lips, you can do it before and it just gives you a guide. Okay, so this one's Heat Wave. This is the NARS one. lip brushes are so hard to find like if the edges if they're not really stiff like once you get to the edges it'll kind of splay out and you lose your shape so make sure it's a really dense lip brush and smaller is better and sometimes I'll turn it to the side to draw that Draw that shape. If you have a lipstick tube, something you can do is just like swipe it on the insides really quick, rub your lips together, and then take a lip brush and do the edges. And once you have it on, once you have like your lip drawn on, it will last all day and you can touch it up with the tube. It's just the initial shaping of the lips. It's going to be a lot cleaner if you use a brush. Some brands will sell lip liners that are in the exact same color as their lipsticks. They're like, especially liquid lip brands will do that a lot. And then you can use a red liner and you can line it and then you can just use the tube to fill in the inside and that's a lot quicker. But if your liner is not the exact same color, you probably want to use a brush. So next week, well next week's Thanksgiving, but the week after that I have a model coming and I think she said she was over 60 so we'll do a look on her and then the week after that I will do a holiday look with glitter and it'll be so fun. Holiday makeup is my favorite. I can't wait to see the glitter look. I know, yay! <laughs> it's the best. Glitter is so fun. I'm going to show you guys my tip for like cleaning up the lips too. We'll just have to take that concealer. So to clean up the edges, you're going to take a concealer. The foundation is not going to be, um, it's not going to be opaque enough, so you're going to need a concealer because the red's very pigmented. And I'll show you how to clean up those outside lines. I'm just going to take a flat concealer brush. Same thing I showed you guys before. Open a little bit for me. Outline the lips. This is super pretty. Like if you're taking pictures, like let's say you're doing like family pictures or your holiday cards or like a boudoir shoot or something, this makes your lips look so pretty. And it makes them look more full too because you're just really cleaning up the outside edge and you're lightening it a little bit, which just kind of plumps up the lips. And it just helps clean up the outside corners. I like it to be really sharp. And 
and just be careful like after I cover up a little bit of red I'll wipe it off on my hands because it's gonna turn pink if you just keep rubbing just looking at her because this lipstick is so warm I'm gonna add more blush just to balance it out after I finish got me close okay. all right you got. It's always hard for me to tell if they're even on camera because I cannot stand like straight in front of her. Okay, we're good. <laughs> when I do lips, I want it to be so symmetrical, so I literally like stand straight in front of them, but I cannot on the camera. So hopefully, it looks good. <laughs> okay, let's add a little more blush. Show you guys kind of how to do an ombre blush too. So this blush is pulling the tones from her lips really, really well because it has that gold in it, like that warm undertones. But I want to incorporate the um, purple tones in her eyes, so I, I'm going to go in with like a berry color. This is the Anastasia blush kit. I'm going to go in with this one, and I'm going to add a little bit up around her high, her high cheekbones. It's just going to transition down into that warm color and it's going to incorporate both colors. Okay. You have to be careful. You don't want to look like pageant girl or like <laughs> stage dance makeup when you do red lips, eye makeup, liner, and blush. It depends on what it's for. If it's like at night, if you're going to a party, go for the blush. If it's like just for the day, don't go too heavy. So sometimes what I'll do, if I'm like, oh, that's a little much, I'll take my beauty blender with the foundation on it and I'll just go over it a little bit. I did not powder her, so I can do that. If I already powdered her and the foundation is gonna disrupt her powder blush, I will go over it with like a powder foundation. Okay, let's add a little bit more highlight. And then we're all done. You look gorgeous. I hope tonight was helpful for you guys and you got some good red lip tips. Leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite thing you learned tonight. And if you're a warm lipstick girl or a cool lipstick girl. All right, go ahead and look at the camera. We're gonna show her before shot really quick so you guys can see before we started, before brows, for everything. All right, and then this is the final look. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next Thursday. Bye.